Hello, Carlota. Good evening. Hello. 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 Sí, me escucha. Can you listen to me well? We are just gonna wait for the others. Vamos a esperar para que los demás se integren. Ok. Okay, we're going to wait for the others. One more minute. So then we start. Hello, Reina. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you at work or at home already? Ya en su casa o todavía en el trabajo? Oh, ya en casa. <laughs> ah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, raining, right? Raining cats and dogs. Lloviendo con mucha intensidad. Yes. So let's give um, like one more minute for 
the other participants to join the session of today. Yes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Reina, tell me. La tarea de el día de ayer yo hasta hoy por la mañana la la comencé a hacer, pero ya no me dio paso para enviarla. Oh, really? Le voy a ver si le puedo juntar la foto. Exactly, please. Please, Reina, yes. Uh -huh. That's going to help me to to have a better idea. What's up? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to respond later, right? Because of the, <laughs> the activities that we have today. So yeah, I'm responding once we finish. Okay, Reina? Yeah. Yes, I Perfect. Very good. Very, very good. So let's start Lisset, Miss Pineda, Lisset. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being in here. Thanks for being in the class. And the same for Miss Muñoz. Good evening. Hello. As well. Good evening, hi. teacher. I'm in the way. <laughs> ah, okay. No problem. Yeah, you are on your way, on your way back home. No problem. Yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So it's time to begin our uh, session of today. Everybody, once again, welcome. Good evening to everyone. I hope you are doing very well, even though we have a rainy night today um, because of the weather, right? It's a little bit, not complicated, I will say. It's a little bit intense because it's raining. As many people say, it's raining cats and dogs, right? So I understand that sometimes there may be some uh, issues uh, related to the connection, or other things, so I perfectly understand that. So, but still, here we are, and we are going to take advantage of the time. So let's begin. Let's begin with our English video conference number seven. Yes, very good. So uh, this is what we have for today. This is the topic. This is uh, what we are supposed to do in today's class. Asking yes, no questions with verbs. Today we are going to focus on using different verbs and we are going to ask yes, no questions based on them. We are going to use can, um, may, yeah, can, may, and do. Those are the three types of verbs we are using in today's class for making this kind uh, of questions, right? Yes, for the ones who are joining, welcome. It's so nice to have you here. I am very, very happy to have you in, in the class, right? So asking just no questions with verbs. Very good. So today is Tuesday, July the 13th, 2021. So imagine we are going very fast. Video conference number seven, time flies for real, it's going very, very fast. And here we are working with this topic again. So, I mean, it feels like yesterday that we started the first video conference, imagine, right? La semana pasada iniciamos la primera video conference, la primera video conferencia, y imagínense ya ahora, like seven, imagínense ya la clase número siete, we are running today, so vamos, a paso rápidos. Muy, muy bien. Excellent. So we are going to start. Let's see what we have for today. This is the class objective for today. At the end of this session, participants, that means you, 
you will be able to use uh, and to ask, in this case, ask and answer yes, no questions with the verbs. That is the goal for today. That is the main objective. The purpose of today's class is that to ask and answer just no questions with different verbs. Like I told you before, we are using can, do, and may. Those are the verbs we are using today. Yes. And once again, here is the topic. Um, asking just no questions with verbs. Yes, that's what we have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Yes. So as you remember, in yesterday's class, we practiced a little bit about the yes, um, sorry, the affirmative and the negative statements, right? As you remember, we mentioned some of the verbs and we used some verbs. For example, inform, plan, organize. What other verbs do you remember, participants? What other verbs do you remember? ¿Qué otros verbos recuerdan de los que trabajamos ayer? Yes? Read. Exactly. Very good. Uh -huh. Another? ¿Algún otro right. Exactly. Correct. Check. Mm -hmm. Check. Exactly. Yes. Totally. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Yes. Those were some of the verbs. In this mini grid, I am presenting to you in this mini chart, again, we compare the two types of statements as we practice in yesterday's class. Affirmative statements and negative statements. So the first ones are affirmative statements, right? They are very useful because they are like, not exactly the positive because we are not gonna call it positive. We're gonna call it like, the neutral form of these verbs. For example, I keep track of the financial account, like many of you, for example, um, like many of you have this um, job, have this work as financial accountants, right? So you work on that. Algunos de ustedes trabajan en el área financiera de sus empresas. Entonces ustedes, you keep the track of the financial financial account. Repeat this word, please. Me gustaría que lo repitieran para aclarar la pronunciación correcta. Financial, financial. 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 Very good. Financial account, right? Like that is- Financial the, account. Uh -huh. That is the accounting area, the area of the money and the numbers, right? So I keep track of the financial account. Number two, you know the policies um, and regulations. Oh, teacher, so this is like policias in English. No, mm -mm, that is not correct. That is police officers. In this case, the policies are like the rules that are part of your contract, right? Like the, like, the must, the things that you gotta do, your responsibilities, like the prohibitions, the main, main rules, it's like like that, right? It's what you call in Spanish as políticas. Son las políticas empresariales, ¿verdad? You know the, politi the policies and regulations. Tú sabes, o usted sabe, las políticas y las, la regla, ¿verdad? De la empresa, you know the policies and regulations of your company, right? For example, mm -hmm. we advertise the company. Teacher Kevin, what is advertise? Advertise means make publicity, right? That is, that is what it means, make publicity of. Hacer publicidad de una empresa, right? Like that, make publicity of. You make publicity of the, I don't know, you make publicity of the company you work for. For example, Inglés Corporativo, in the fan page of Facebook or many other pages, right? Or sites or, or I don't know, like different forms, they have those advertisements, right? Like they advertise, they make publicity. Mm -hmm. For example, that is just an example. 
they help companies against financial loss. They help companies against financial loss. Algunas personas dentro de las empresas se encargan de combatir o reducir ¿verdad? las pérdidas financieras. The financial loss of the companies, right? They reduce salaries. They do many things, right? To protect the company's interests. Mm -hmm. Are these affirmative statements clear? ¿Estamos claros con estas affirmative statements? Students? Mm -hmm. ¿Todo claro con estas affirmative statements? ¿Me he dado a entender? Is, are they clear? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Reina, José, Lucía, Yesenia y Beth. ¿Está claro esto de los affirmative statements con estos ejemplos y estos verbos diferentes? Are yes, they teacher. Clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Y Beth? Yes. Okay, perfect. That is affirmative. Then you have negative. Let's see negative. I don't keep track of the financial account. You don't know the policies and regulations. Regulations. Repeat this word, please. Regulations. 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 Excellent. Very good. Regulations. You don't know the policies and regulations. We don't advertise the company. We don't, right? We don't advertise the company. They don't help companies against financial loss. They don't help um, let's see, oh yeah, I got it. They don't help companies against financial loss, right? So that is just one like example to mention in there. Mm -hmm. Very good participants. In this moment, what I want you to do is the following. I invite you to please complete this exercise. This mini exercise that we have in here, it's about unscramble the sentences with the words provided. That means unscramble this word, this verb, unscramble, unscramble. This means organize or put in order. That is the meaning. Organizar, arreglar, poner en orden, right? Poner en su lugar, unscramble. So you have to unscramble all of these uh, letters, well, words in this case. Let's see number one. Keep the companies track financial accounts of. What do you have to do? Simple, put them in order. In this case, it's going to be like this, to construct a complete statement. For example, they keep track of the financial accounts of the companies. That is what you have to do, okay? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Es it clear, participants? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Do it in this moment, please. Complete exercise two, three, and four, please. Complete them mm -hmm. in this moment. Please, please, please. Complete them.
Please complete them all. In the meantime, I'm gonna um, take um, the attendance for today. So if you are here, please respond, say yes. You can say it like loud or you can say it on the chat. I, but I prefer if you speak it, if you say it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luz Angelica, no problem. I understand that right now because of the rain, it is occasionating some troubles some problems so don't worry i understand mm -hmm. Very good. Um, let's see. Aha, uh -huh. Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Miss Cepeda is here. Yes, there. Claudia, Claudia Garcia, Claudia Lisset Garcia. Aha. Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, present. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Diana Margarita. Diana, she hasn't connected yet. Uh, Iliana Idalia, not here yet. Jose Arnoldo Correa Jovel. Present teacher. Nice. I, I have trouble, so heard you. Okay. Okay, I understand. Yeah, because of the, um, the connection and everything, it's a little bit like um, difficult, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Carla Patricia. Present. Yeah, yes, thank you. And Crisia Vanessa, that she's connecting right now. I see her. Miss Crisia Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Enriquez, there she is. Hi, Crisia. I was going to call you right now on the, on the meeting because I saw the, the message. Acabo de ver su mensaje, Crisia, perdón. Yes, about the, the, the problems that you had. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, uh, Lisset del Carmen Pineda Ventura. Mm -hmm. Lisset present, present, very good. Lucia Gabriela Vasquez, present teacher. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, yes, Lucia, I listen to you. Yeah, don't worry. Um, Luz Angelica is here. Yeah, she is. She just participated. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Present. Good. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, teacher. Welcome. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, teacher. I am here. Yes, you can hear there me. You are. Yeah, I can hear you very well. Clear and loud. Very good. Uh, Mauricio Isaú, mm, he's not connected yet. Raúl Osgualdo, Ramírez Fabián, mm, not here. Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sara Judith Miranda. Oh, there is Reina, I see her. Stephanie Emperatriz uh, Orellana Castillo. Mm -hmm. Yvette 
Ramírez Castillo, Tomasa y Beth. Ramírez Castillo. Present. Excellent. Very good. Veronica Jasmine, she's not connected. And Yesenia Elizabeth Carcamo Serrano. Present. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay, so you finish, participants? Did you finish? Finalizamos este exercise? Yes, yes. not yet. Sí, todavía no. Yes, yes. not yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I finished. Excellent. What about the others? Mm -hmm. Finish. Finish. Okay. Me too, teacher. Very good. Very, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna check it together. We are gonna check it all together. And what we are doing right now is having this collecting checking process, right? So we're going to see together what we have in here. Let's see um, what is in here. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, Reina, tell me. I listen to you. Ah, uh, yeah. No problem. Yes. Now I got the message. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So let's check together. Number two, don't on internet, the company advertise we. Mm -hmm. We don't advertise the company on internet. Excellent. Do you all have the same? Thank you, Luz Angelica. What about the others? Do you have the same? We don't advertise on the internet. Sorry, we don't advertise the company on the internet. Do you have the same? Yes. Got the same? Tiene lo mismo? Do you have the same? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yes. We don't advertise the company on the internet. We don't advertise the company on the internet. Very good. Number three. Uh, what about number three? ¿Qué hay de la número tres? Uh -huh. I take notes in the meeting every, every day. Excellent. I take notes in the meetings every day. That is the correct uh, order. That is the correct solution, construction of the sentences. I take notes in the meetings every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number four, at the reception, Carlos and Mauricio phone answer. Carlos and Mauricio answer phone at the reception. Okay. Carlos and Mauricio answer the phone at the reception. Mm -hmm. That is how it should be. Carlos and Mauricio answer the phone at the reception. Good job. Excellent participants. Very good job. So I don't know if you can tell me, please, like, do you have questions about this? Tienen alguna duda con referente a este ejercicio? Are there any questions? Dudas? Do you have doubts? Mm -hmm. Doubts, doubts, Ivef. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ivef, Reina, Jose, Crisia, Lucia, Yesenia. Questions? Alguna duda? Got questions about this? No, teacher. No questions? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can we move on? Can we move to the next slide? Podemos desplazarnos a la siguiente diapositiva? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Very good. 
So this is what we have. And now here is another exercise for you. What you have to do is very, very simple. I have these statements, right? Esto es un review general de lo que vimos ayer, prácticamente todo lo que vimos el día de ayer. So it's just extra practice, right? Es un poco más de práctica de lo que trabajamos ayer. Mario R is my coworker and friend. Teacher, but um, I have my questions, teacher Kevin, because there you say Mario R and is. You have two options, exactly. They are separated by a slash. Están separados por una pleca. Ustedes tienen que elegir una de las dos opciones que aparecen acá. La que ustedes consideren es la correcta. He don't, doesn't like working on Saturdays. Maria and I um, are from Brazil. Mr. Skinner works work at Educational Global Community. EGC, for example. That is just an example, right? Kevin Torn turns 26 on December the 20, uh, 23rd. Yes, there is a mini, mini mistake in here. It's 23rd. Mike teach, teaches French at US, for example. Mm -hmm. Completed, please. Uh, is it clear what you have to do? Me responden, por favor, en sus micrófonos. Uh, ¿Está claro lo que tienen que trabajar en este exercise? ¿Es it clear? Mm -hmm. ¿Clear, clear? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Yes, excellent. Very good, very, very good. Uh -huh. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Completed, please. Completed, completed. And then we check together. I let them tell. If you have questions, let me know.
Uh -huh. If you have questions, let me know. Cualquier duda, díganme. Socialícenlo. Déjenme saber para poderles ayudar. Hello, Sara. Good evening, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss Sara Miranda. Welcome. Uh, good, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Magdaleno. Tell me. Uh, I, I need your help. Uh, you can uh, explain, explain me. Explain again? Yeah, not a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. the, the activity. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. please. Of course, Magdaleno, no problem. Uh, well, Thank what you. you have to do is the following. Um, you have these statements, they are yes. affirmative and negative, and they have yes. two options. For example, number one, Mario R is my coworker and friend. What you have to do, Magdaleno, is select the correct answer. R mm. or is, just one. Select just one answer. The one that you consider is correct, okay? Yes. And then, mm -hmm. You do the same with the others. Y hace lo mismo con las otras. You select the correct Thank answer you. only. Uh -huh. Thank you. Got it? Clear? It's finished. Yeah, you finished. finished. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> very good. Yeah, easy, right? This is very easy, cheesy lemon piece, right? Finish. Very easy. Very, very easy, okay? Yes, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's check together. Number one, Mario are or is my coworker and friend? What is the correct is. option? Mario? Mario is. is my coworker. It is because Mario is he. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Mario is my coworker and friend. Number, number two, he don't or he doesn't like working on Saturdays. He doesn't like working on mm -hmm. Saturdays. He doesn't like yeah. working? Yeah. Working. On Saturday. On Saturdays. Repeat, Saturdays. Saturdays. Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. Saturdays. Excellent. It's Saturdays. He doesn't like working on Saturdays. Number three, it's Maria and I am are. Or are from Brazil. Are from Brazil. Are? are. This is our. Are? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. It's are, right? Maria and I are from Brazil. Number four. Mr. Skinner works or work at EGC? Works. Is the first. First. Uh -huh. Works. Works, exactly. Mr. Skinner works. works, right? At EGC. Uh, number five, Kevin Torn or Torns 26 on December the 23rd. Torrance. Torrance. Uh-huh. Torrance. Cumple. Teacher, how do you Turns. say cumpleaños? O, o pasa a tener tantos años. Right? Torrance. Mm -hmm. Mike teach or teaches French? Teaches. Mm -hmm. Yes, teaches. Teaches French. Teaches, right? Mm -hmm. Mike teaches French. French. Uh -huh. US. Yes. Yes. And then you. Yes. yes. So there you have the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 
there you have the answers. Ahí tienen las respuestas para que hagan su double check, para que se hagan su revisada personal propia, right? Para ver cuáles son, right? Yes. Questions about this? Preguntas sobre esto, ajá. Uh -huh. Quiero escuchar a todos. ¿Quién ha escuchado a Claudia, Yesenia, Sara, Lucía, ajá, Magdalena? Any question, all, all is clear. All clear. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yvette, everything clear. Grecia, everything clear. Questions, todo claro. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Mm -hmm. No questions. No? Okay, very good. No questions. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Muy bien. Very, very good. So right now we're going to practice these ways to introduce others, right? ¿Cómo podemos en línea, en esa misma línea del tema que estamos desarrollando en estas clases? Vamos a ver esto. Ways to introduce others. ¿Qué maneras podemos utilizar? ¿Qué frases? ¿Qué expresiones para presentarle a alguien a a otra persona. Most likely we use like, for example, Carla, this is Magdaleno, Magdaleno, this is Carla. Es como que la manera más común, ¿verdad? Carla, él es mi compañero Magdaleno, Magdaleno, ella es mi jefa, Carla, right? She's my boss, Carla. Esa es como que la manera más común, right? Veamos estas expresiones. This is my friend, uh, sorry, this is my friend, Charles. Right? This is my friend Charles. Nice to meet you, Charles. Nice to meet you too. Let me introduce you to, permítame presentarle. Let me introduce you, Luz Angelica. Right? She is my co worker. Mm -hmm. Luz Angelica, this is Crisia. Crisia, this is Luz Angelica. And then they shake hands and they say, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Students, is it clear? Estamos claros con esa expression, con esa expresión, con esa frase? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Clear. It's clear. Excellent. Let me introduce you, Magdaleno. Magdaleno is the supervisor of the company. Okay. Let me introduce Crisia. Crisia is a social studies teacher, right? For primary school. Usted da clases en básica, ¿verdad? Eh, Crisia? Yes, right? For kids, for children. Para chicos pequeños o para, o para teenagers o para bachillerato. Crisia? Mm -hmm. Sí, te re escucho cortado. Now, can you listen to me? Ahora sí me escucha con claridad, Crisia. No. No, it's because of the internet, I guess, I suppose. Creo que es por lo de la, la lluvia, ¿verdad? La lluvia es, está afectando. Yeah, it's affecting a little bit, yes. I want you to know my friend. Quiero que conozcas a mi amigo o mi amiga. I want you to know my friend, Reina. She is my friend. I want you to know my friend. Quiero que conozca a mi amigo o mi amiga. I want you to know my friend. I want you to know my friend. Mm -hmm. I want you to know my friend. I would like to introduce you. Me gustaría presentarle a Claudia, for example, right? For example, that is um, the example, right? I would like to introduce Magdaleno. Me gustaría presentarle a Magdaleno. I would like to introduce Magdaleno. Sam, this is Dave. Dave, this is Sam. Y el más común, ¿verdad? La manera más común que yo les presentaba anteriormente. Sara, this is Lisef. Lisef, this is Sara. Sara, ella es Lisef. Lisef, ella es Sara. And you use this, right? Sara, this is Lisef. 
Lizeth, this is Sara. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, ok. ¿Estamos okay. claros? Yes. This is ok. Mm -hmm. Claudia, Luz, Lucía, Carlota, José, Yesenia, yes, questions? Teacher. It's clear. Hello. It's a clear teacher. Uh -huh. Excellent. Lizeth, Sara, Yesenia, dudas? No. No doubts? no doubts? ¿Alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a estas oraciones, a estas phrases? Uh -huh. José, eh, let's see. Nadie? No, no doubts? No questions? No? Ok. Uh -huh. And you respond based on this, right? For example, this is Carmen. This is David. Ella es Carmen. Él es David. Right? Hello. Like the most common way, right? Hello, this is Michael. Let me introduce you to Reina, for example, right? Permítanme presentarle a Reina. I'm glad to meet you. Gusto en conocer. I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. I am glad to meet you. She's my colleague. Colleague. Repitan todos esta palabra, please. Colleague. Colleague. His colleague. 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 Ajá. Mi colega. Colleague. Ajá. Mi colega, mi compañero de trabajo. Ajá. Colleague. Colleague. Ajá. Colleague. Colleague. Yes. He or she is my colleague. Very good. Excellent. Teacher. Yes, Carla. ¿Qué dijo que significa glad to meet you? I'm glad to meet you. Un gusto conocerlo. O oh, qué alegría ah. conocerlo. Qué dicha Thank conocerlo. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm glad to meet you. Uh -huh. I am glad to meet you. I am glad to see you. Un gusto verlo también así. I'm glad to see you. Like you see the person, right? You have visual contact. I am glad to see you. I am glad to meet you. Mm -hmm. And that is what you say. Yes. Very good. Doubts about this? Dudas sobre esto? Preguntas? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, no? No, teacher. No doubt. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. No doubts. No questions. Perfect. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here we have this example. We have this example. This is the example we have in here. Let's see. It's. Hi, Kate. How are you? Hi, John. Fine. Thanks. And you? I am fine. Oh, Kate. I would like you to meet James. He is my brother. I'm fine. Oh, Kate. I'd. I'd. Esta contracción, esta palabra que puede sonar un poquito difícil. Esta I, este apóstrofe y esta D juntitas, las vamos a pronunciar así. Aid, 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 aid. Repeat it, please. Ajá. Aid. Aid. Yes. Aid. Ajá. Aid. Aid like. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like. Exactly, I'd uh -huh. like. I'd like. Teacher Kevin, esa palabra, ¿de dónde se origina? ¿De, de dónde sale? 
Aquí ahorita Pero, en el chat se los estoy poniendo. Ahí está, en el chat, revisen su chat. I would. Ajá, exacto. Like that, right? Uh -huh. Ahí les estoy poniendo las dos maneras. La manera completa y la manera contractada. I would like to eat pizza. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'd like to eat pizza. No sé si ya les aparece en el chat. ¿Lo pueden ver? No, no, no aparece. ¿No? Ah, ok. Perfect. Ya vi por qué. No sé si ahora sí les aparece. Yes. 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 Yes, it is. Ok, ahí están las formas en el chat. I would, I Así se dice. I would, I would, I would, I would. I'd, 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 I'd. I'd. I would like I'd. to eat pizza. Me gustaría comer pizza. I would like to eat pizza. I would like to eat pizza. I'd like to eat pizza. I'd to eat pizza. Correct. Very good. Very, very good. Muy bien. Así. I would like to eat pizza. I'd like to eat pizza. De ahí viene esa expresión. De ahí viene esa expresión. Magdaleno. Ajá. Teacher, I have a doubt. Yes, Magdaleno. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the translate to the phrase? I would like you to... I like, I like you to meet to James. Meet James. Uh -huh. Me gustaría que conozcas a James. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. No, me gustaría presentarte a James. Cualquiera de las dos, right? I'd like you to meet James. O puede cambiar el nombre, digamos. I'd like you to meet Carla Patricia. Right? I'd right. like you to meet Carla Patricia. Me gustaría que conociera a mi compañera, Carla Patricia. Mm -hmm. Ok, Magdalena. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Yes. Hi, Kate. How are you? Hi, John. Fine. Thanks. And you? I'm fine. Okay. I'd like you to meet James. He's my brother. That is a contraction of he is. You can say once again completely, he is my brother, or you can simply say, he's my brother. He's, he's my brother, right? Like that. Nice to meet you, James. Gusto conocerlo, James. Nice to meet you, James. Nice to meet you, James. Mm -hmm. Like that. And that is all you gotta say, right? That is all, all you say in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, very good. Doubts? Alguna duda? Me gustaría que me dijeran, porque a veces el silencio me dice de que como que están confundidos o, o, o no sé, o sea, no, no comprendo si, si me doy a entender o no. So, me indican, please. Uh, do you have doubts? Everything clear? Todo claro? Tienen alguna duda? Ajá. Uh -huh. All is clear. All clear. Ajá. Uh -huh. Los demás, Claudia. Ale. Esa me la. la, la... Uh -huh. Claudia, Sara, Miranda. Summer. Uh -huh. Lizeth, Reina, Yesenia, estamos claros. Estamos en sintonía. Is it clear? Is it clear, teacher? Yes. Uh -huh. Claudia, Carlota, José, Yesenia, estamos claros. Is it clear? Estamos en la misma sintonía. Sí, alguna duda? Questions? It's clear. Ok. Yes. 
Very good. Very, very good. Excellent participants. Muy bien. Very good. Like it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do me a favor, please, in your notebook, create a similar conversation like this. En su cuaderno, por favor, creen una pequeñita conversación así como esta que está acá, similar. Pueden cambiarle los nombres, pueden empezar en vez de hello, pueden empezar con good evening, or good afternoon, or good morning, y así, ¿verdad? Y pueden cambiarle los nombres, en vez de decir fine, pueden decir very good, and you, uh -huh. like that. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Ok. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Elaborate it right now, please. Elaborenlo en este momento y luego me indican, please. Then you tell me. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very, very good. I understand. Yeah. Thanks. Let's see the others. To finish up, esperemos a los demás para que finalicen. I finished the conversation, teacher. Excellent, Magdaleno, very good. Finish, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Finish, teacher. Very good, very good. Muy bien, gracias. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.
Okay, so let's see. I don't know if, for example, Magdaleno, do you want to share your conversation with the class? Gusta compartir su conversation, Magdaleno, con la clase? With the class? Yes, teacher. Yes. Of course. Go. Yeah. Uh, hey, Michael. Hi, Josh. Josh. Um, no, no, no. I will try again. Okay. Hey, Michael. Hi, John. How are you? I'm fine. And who is with you? Ah, I'd like you to meet Michelle. She's my girlfriend. Oh, it's really? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. been... <laughs> Excellent. I would like you to meet my friend, Michelle. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to meet Michelle. Uh -huh. I'd Very like good. you to meet Michelle. Okay. Uh-huh. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Magdaleno. I don't know, Carla, do you want to share your example? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Jose. How are you? Hi, Carolina. I'm very good, thanks. And you? I'm so so. I want to you. I want you to know my best friend's Karen. I'm glad to meet you, Karen. I want you to meet, I want you to know my friend Karen. Okay. Nice yeah. to meet you, Karen. Very good. Somebody else, Carlota, Lucia, Jose, Reina, Sara Miranda, Yesenia, Lisset, Luz Angelica, Yvette. Uh -huh. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, Reina. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, Jose. Very good. Thanks. And you? I'm excellent. Oh, Mary, I like you meet Alice. Uh -huh. She's my girlfriend. Nice to meet you, Alice. Nice to meet you, Alice. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, one more. Una más. The last one, please. Uh -huh. Sara, Yesenia, Carlota, Lucia, Jose. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Jessica. Where, where are you? Good evening, Vinita. And you, Infinity, oh, Jessica. Y, y da, I, ahí, <laughs> la palabrita creo que me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like, like to me, Jose. She is my co-worker. Nice to meet you, Jose. Okay, he is my, my co-worker. My co-worker. Uh -huh. co my co-worker. Co 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 Excellent, very good, my co-worker. Thank you, Yesenia, good job, very good job. Yes, students, very good. So that is what we practice in this part. In today's session, in today's class, we're focusing on using questions and short answers using do and does. That is the first one we studied today. Do, do I like pizza? Do you like pizza? Do we like pizza? Do they like pizza? We focus on that, right? On describing those elements. Do you like pizza? For example, uh, Sara, do you like pepperoni pizza? Sara Miranda? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, I do. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, for example, let's see. Um, Yvette, do you like pineapple pizza? Le gusta la pizza de piña, for example. Do you like pineapple pizza? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Yvette? You say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah, you can type it in the chat. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, like that. That's what you say, right? Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Do you like, for example, bananas? Like that. Do you like bananas, students? Do you? Do you like bananas? 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I like. Excellent. Uh huh. Very good. Very, very good. Do you like coffee? Do you drink coffee? Beben café? Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Very good. Do you hard work? Do you? Do you hard work? Trabajan duro? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay. Very good. Maybe. <laughs> Excellent. Do you sleep like that? Do you sleep eight hours? Duermen ocho horas? No, no, I don't. No. No, I don't. Right? No, I don't. No, I don't. Only, only one? How many? Quantos? How many? Maybe three hours. Three hours. Okay. Maybe three hours. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. Maybe three hours. Okay. So, like that, right? Do I, do you, do we, do they? And then we have the questions with does. Does he, does she, does it? For example, does she like pizza? Um, I don't know, to give you an example. Um, Luz Angelica, does your, do you have a little girl in your house? Do you have a daughter? Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I do, yes, I do. Oh, uh -huh. yes, I do. Do, no, wait. Does she like broccoli? Does she like broccoli? Uh, she does. No, she doesn't. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Carla, Patricia, <laughs> do you like pacaya? No, I like. No, I, no, don't. I don't. No, okay. I don't. No, I don't. Uh huh. Very good. Jose Correa, do you like loroco? Do you eat loroco? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like. Yes, okay. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I... Uh -huh. Yes. Magdaleno, do you want to be an English teacher in the future? ¿Quieres ser maestro de inglés en el futuro? Magdaleno, do you want to? <laughs> yes, I want. Yes, I, I, I do. Know. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Do you do housework on weekends? Realizan las tareas de limpieza en su hogar los fines de semana? Do you do housework on weekends? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, yes. Let me write it in the chat. Ahí me preguntan algunos, teacher, how do you spell it? ¿Cómo se escribe? Do you do housework? Weekends, ahí en el chat, por favor, revisen ahorita. Les acabo de postear la pregunta, right? Do you do housework on weekends? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. That's what you say, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Does she, does she watch movies? Does she prepare the dinner? Does she... Uh, or does he practice English? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do you do exercise? For example, do you? Do you do exercise? Yes, no. Do you do exercise, students? Do you? Realizan ejercicio, alguna actividad de ejercicio? Do you? Yes, no? Yes, I do. Do yes, you? I do. No, I don't, right? So the answers Teacher, are... Teacher, uh -huh. how do you say a veces? Uh, sometimes. Uh -huh. ah, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. I sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes, like that. You put it like that, like, like that in the chat. I sometimes do exercise. Uh -huh. Yes, I sometimes do exercise. Do you practice a sport? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do they study English? 
Yes, they do. Yes, no, they do. they don't. Exactly. Correct. Uh-huh. 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 Yes. Do they eat sandwiches? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do we protect the planet? Protegemos el planeta? Yes, yes we I do. do. Uh -huh. No, we don't. Uh -huh. So, like that. Créenme tres oraciones de tres preguntas. Así es su autoría, por favor, mezclada. Quiero verbos difíciles. No me van a poner I eat. No. Quiero que ustedes solitos se reten. Verbos difíciles. Difficult verbs, please. Uh -huh. Please, please, in this moment. Uh -huh. In form of preguntas, teacher. Uh, yes, ask questions. Uh -huh. Correct. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Finish? Did you finish? Finish? Yes. Mm -hmm. Finish participants, finalizamos. We finish. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes teacher, finish it. Ok, one more minute for the others to finish. Un minuto más para que los demás finalicen. One more minute. Mm -hmm. Ok, finish. excelente. Uh -huh. Reina, Lisette, finish. Sara, Yesenia, finish. José, Lucía, finish, finish. 
Finish. Finish. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Yes. So let's see. Uh, let's start with you, please. Reina, your examples. Mm -hmm. She, uh, no, sorry, does she close the market? Mm -hmm. um, Excellent. Another? What, what do you do every day? What do you and do every day? Mm -hmm. Do you drink coffee? <laughs> do you drink coffee? Very good. Yes. Thank you, Reina. Lizeth del Carmen, your examples. Lizeth. Yes. Um, do you like dancing? Do you like dancing? Uh huh. Um, do you are um, tengo dudas, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sing her? Uh, do you sing? Uh huh. Do you sing? Sing. Uh huh. Sing. Ah, okay. Sing. Sing. Uh -huh. Sing. Do you sing? Uh huh. Okay. Do you sing? Excellent. Okay. Um. Uh, do you like coffee? Do you like coffee? Okay. Um. Hizo <laughs> lesas. Only, only that. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Sara Miranda, your examples, Sara. Teacher, yes. pensé que solo era una, solo una. Y... No problem. Está bien, no hay problema. Uh -huh. No problem. Do you, okay. Do you like food Mexican? Do you like Mexican food? Uh -huh. Mexican food. Yes. Another? Do you forgive the meeting tonight? Uh, repeat it, please. Repeat it. Ajá, me repite la última, please. Just to confirm, solo para darle una doble revisada. Ajá. Do you forgive the meeting tonight? Ah, do you forget the meeting tonight? Ajá. Ok. Very good. Only? Solamente? Yeah. Yes. Ok. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Luz Angélica. I, I like how I see the teacher. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Carla Patricia is sorry. Let's see. Uh -huh. Do we write a book? Do we write a book? Uh -huh. Does she forget a homework? Does she forget a homework? Uh -huh. Do you room? Do you? Room. Uh, uh, do you wrong? Uh -huh. Do you room. wrong? Do you uh -huh. wrong? Uh -huh. Corre. Uh, only that. Only that. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Yes. So in here, we have more examples, as you can see. These are some other examples, right? Do I get up early? Me levanto temprano. Do I? Do I get up early? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you call other companies? Do you? Llaman ustedes a otras empresas? Do you call other companies? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Do they transport the product? Uh-huh. Do they transport the product? Transportan el producto? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do we check the policies? Do we? Do we check the policies? Yes, we do. No, we don't, right? It's like that. Así es como debe ir. Do I get up early? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you call other companies? Yes, I do. Or yes, you do. No, you don't. 
Do they transport the product? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do we check the policies? Yes, we do. No, we don't, right? Questions about this part, participants? Do you have questions? Do you have any questions about this? Preguntas? <laughs> no yes. questions. No questions, no? Uh-huh. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, very, very good. Excellent. Um, very, very good. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the following right now. Um, let's see, just let me respond to, to, to you because you are giving me like some situations, right? You are describing some situations that you are facing with your connections, very good. So do me a big favor, please, in your manual, in your student manual, in su manual, in el manual de trabajo, verdad, de, de, para este programa, para este module, en la página 24, están unos pequeños ejercicios. So related to this, con practice, para práctica relacionado a esto, verdad. Can you see them right now? Pueden verlos? Can you see my screen? Pueden verlos en mi pantalla? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so that is what you have to do. Create just no questions using the words in parentheses. Haciendo uso de estas palabras que, te, que tenemos acá en parentheses, ustedes construyen la pregunta, right? You construct the question, construyen la pregunta y le ponen una respuesta según lo que dice acá. Yes, no, yes, no. Ok. Mm -hmm. Any questions, let me know. In case of questions, let me know. And then we check it together. En caso de dudas, ustedes me preguntan y revisamos todos juntos.
finished, teacher. Thank you, Carla Patricia. Very good. Very good job. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's just wait for the others and then we check together. Esperamos a los demás y luego revisamos juntos. Then we check together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Finish. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Good job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so um, it's time for us to check together, dear participants. Let's see. Let's check together. Number one, you work company. What is number one? Uh -huh. Do you work in this company? Uh -huh. Do you work in this company? Thank you, Luz. Angelica, Carla Patricia, your example, you wanted to say, Vicky quería dar su ejemplo. Yes? No, it's the same. The same. Okay, very yes. good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Alguien más tiene un ejemplo similar or different? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Do you work in this company? Okay, very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number two, they check product. They check product. Do they check the product? Do they check, uh -huh. do they the check product? the product? Uh -huh. And the answer? Uy, perdón, la respuesta para la primera. We forgot it. No dijimos la respuesta para la primera. Yes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. No, yes, you do. Because of the pronoun. Por el pronombre, Carla. Sería you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. yes. Yes, yes, you do. Number two, do they check yes, the product? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, they don't. No, they don't, exactly. Mm -hmm. Number three, we listen, listen, uh -huh. we listen customers. Do we listen the customers? To the customers, uh -huh. Do we listen okay. to the customers? Uh -huh. Do we to listen the customer. to the customers? Yes? We do. Yes, we do. Uh -huh. Number four. I buy new material. I do buy a new material. I do buy or do I buy? Do I buy, sorry. Uh -huh. No, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> Estamos aprendiendo. Es muy normal do que... Do I buy business. a yes. new material? New material. Así nomás, new material. New, ma uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. new material. Mm -hmm. Compro yo nuevo material para la construcción, quizás. Do I buy no, I new don't. material? No, I don't. Excellent. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Milena and Pablo designed logo. Uh -huh. Milena and mil Pablo designed logo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá, <laughs> ajá. Do Milena and Pablo design logo? The yes, logo? they do. Uh -huh. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. 
Do Milena and Pablo design the logo? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Excellent. Very good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Perfect. Yes. Good, good, good job. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now you will have to read this. We have these ideas, right? We have these people. We have Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. And we also have Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. And we have the do and the don'ts. Tenemos las cosas que ellos hacen y lo que no hacen. Todos esos verbos son los verbos que hemos practicado anteriormente. Right? So we're going to pay attention to this. Oneida Chicas, do create software, repair computers, install antivirus, right? Again, create software, repair computers, install antivirus. Those are the do's of uh, Oneida. Esas son las cosas con las que Oneida cumple, lo que ella hace, right? Right. In Nelly Pineda, lo que no hace. Don't sell computer programs. Right. Exchange information about programs. Right. She doesn't sell computers. Ella no vende computadoras, programas para computadoras. No. Uh, exchange information about programs. Tampoco intercambia información sobre los programas. No. She doesn't. Ricardo Mata. Do. Keep track on the sales. Write reports. Buy new merchandise. Repitamos todos esta, la última juntos porque es un poquito complicada. Buy new merchandise. Buy new, Buy new merchandise. merchandise. Buy new merchandise. Ajá. Buy new merchandise. Comprar Buy nueva new. mercadería. Ajá. Buy new merchandise. Merchandise. Ajá. And don't, Max Pinto, receive money from the sales. Ajá. Recibir dinero de las ventas, right? And decide what to buy. Decidir qué se va a comprar. Once again, do create software. Repair computers, install antivirus, then sell computer programs, exchange information about the programs, keep track on the sales, write reports, buy new merchandise, receive money from the sales, and decide what to buy, decidir qué es lo que se va a comprar, decide what to buy. So based on this, ahora que tienen esto, write this information, mm -hmm. complete the following, completen los siguientes y ustedes le van a poner solo la muy respuesta a las preguntas. Number one, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Do they work with softwares? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Y así. Número dos, igual. Number three, number four, number five, and number six, right? Perdón, aquí va en ese orden. Five, right? This is number five, and this is number six. So complete the exercise, please. Yes. Para que le encuentren más sentido, sería bueno que tengan las preguntas, ¿verdad? A la mano. To find the sense. Yes. yes, this is going to be better practice for you.
Finish, Carla. Finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Uh, do you want me to put the uh, uh, info again? ¿Quiere que coloque la información otra vez? La de los trabajadores. Yeah. Yes, we're just waiting for the other. Solo esperamos unos dos minutos más, un minuto más para los demás. Luego socializamos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Magdaleno, finish. Lizeth, Yvette, finish, finish. Sara Miranda, Yesenia Carcamo, mm -hmm. Lucia, Jose Correa, finish. Finish. Finalizamos, yes. Okay, perfect. Let's check together. Revisemos juntos, okay? Yes. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Uh huh. Do yes, Oneida? they do. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, correct. Very good. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. No. They don't exactly. Okay. Very, very good. Very, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see number three. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Obtienen dinero de las ventas? Do they? No, they don't. Yes, yes they do. Yes, they do. Mm, let's see. No, they, no don't. they don't. No, they don't. Uh huh. Because it says no. They don't receive money from the sales. Uh huh. Very good. Number four. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, yes they, they do. don't. They uh -huh. do. Yes, they. Do. Yes, they do. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Do they write reports? Yes, they do. Uh, number five. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? 
No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh -huh. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Do they install programs? No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh -huh. No, they don't. Exactly. Very, very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Good practice. Very good practice. You have done an excellent, excellent job. Uh, I like it. Very, very good. Perfect. So what are you going to do right now? Very, very simple. I'm going to um, ask you for the following. Do me a favor and write a list of five activities you have to do in your job as sentences. Cinco actividades, cinco tareas, cinco obligaciones con las que son propias de su área, con las que usted tiene que cumplir. Five, right? For example, eh, le voy a dar mi ejemplo. Okay, let me give you my example in here. Right? Um, mm -hmm. It's gonna be like this. Así sería mi ejemplo. My duties at work. Number one, I prepare the classes. Right? Number two, I assigned homework, asigno tarea, I assigned homework. Number three, I take the attendance, tomo la asistencia, ¿verdad? Number four, I check a students' progress. Reviso el progreso de los estudiantes. I check a students' progress. Uh -huh. And number five, I teach my classes. Y luego enseño, imparto mis clases, right? I teach my classes. Quiero hacer un pequeño paréntesis, ¿verdad? Se ha escuchado algo gracioso. Pero yo creo que por cultura general nosotros decimos, ah, es que el teacher da clases. Nosotros no damos clases. Porque dar es algo de regalar, que yo le regalo algo a usted. Nosotros impartimos clases, right? We teach classes. Ok, so that is like something linguistic, right? Es algo lingüista, lingüístico que ustedes deben de considerar. Entonces aquí están mis ejemplos. Así háganlo, por favor, en estos momentos. Do, do it like this in this moment, please. Do it, please. Do it, do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I just connect my charger. Please give me a second. One second, please. Teacher.
When you finish, you let me know, okay? Finish, Mr. Correa. Miss Reina Guadalupe Rivas, finish. Teacher. Yes, Lisa. How do you say didácticos? Eh, Materiales didácticos. Uh -huh. You can say didactic materials, didactic materials, Mm -hmm. Or learning materials, también así puede decirlo. Learning materials, destinado, materiales, learning ¿verdad? Materials. Destinados al aprendizaje. Uh -huh. Me gusta más el segundo. Learning materials. Learning materials. Exactly, correct. Exactly. correct. Okay, yeah. thank are you. you. Are you a teacher, Lisa? Are you, Sorry? are you a teacher? ¿Usted es maestra, Lisa? Yeah? Yes, yes. Excellent. What grade are you in? De qué grado? What grade? Maternal. Oh, how cute. Okay. Yes, yes. That is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yo creo que el grado más chiquito, a los niños más chiquitos que les he impartido inglés, ha sido como de cinco años, los más pequeños. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher. Reina, yes. How say seguro de vida? Ah, eh, you can say Ahí se los coloqué en el chat. Life insurance or health insurance ajá bueno que uno es para vida y el otro es para salud uh -huh. ok Reina thank you teacher ok
Okay, finish, finish, finish. Yes. Yes, yes very teacher. good. Excellent. Very good. Good, good job. Uh, Luz Angelica, do you want to share your examples with me and with the class, please? Okay, I attend the social network. I attend the social networks. Thank you. Uh, Reina? Reina, Reina? I deposit no. money. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Eh, Reina, Luz Angélica nos acaba de decir I attend social networks. Escuche bien ese ejemplo. I attend social networks. Ahora, conviértamelo, por favor, Reina, a pregunta. Lo que Luz acaba de decir. Uh -huh. I do, attend social networks. Okay. Uh -huh. Do I attend social networks? Do I attend social networks? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Ahora sí. Deme su ejemplo, Reina. Okay. I sell life insurance. Insurances. Insurances. Life insurances. Okay. I sell life insurances, okay? Let's see, uh, yes, please. Mr. Corea, Jose Corea, transform that into a question. Transforme esa oración a una pregunta, please. I sell, I sell life insurances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Jose Correa, your microphone. Mm -hmm. You can type it in the chat. También lo pueden escribir. Por cuestiones de tiempo, le vamos a dar la oportunidad a... Yes, eh, Carla, Carla Patricia, Miss Pineda. Huh? I sell life insurances. Insurances. Do I self insurance? Life. Life insurance. Insurances. 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 Okay. Very good. Now your example, Carla. Ahora su ejemplo, Carla. I check the work receptionist and cashiers. Okay. I check the work of the receptionist and, and the cashier. cashier. Uh -huh. I check the work. I check the work of, of the receptionist. The, of, of receptionist and cashiers. And cashier. Okay, excellent. Y Beth Ramirez, en pregunta, por favor. Do you, do you I do, you, do I uh -huh. do I check the work the receptionist of the receptionist and the cashier. And the cashier. Uh -huh. Very good, Yvette. Excellent, muy bien, así. Do I check the work of the receptionist and the cashier? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Please say, uh, yes, please, Yvette, your example. Okay. Check the documents of the cell. Mm -hmm. Do I, I I check the documents? Okay, I check the documents. Very good. Lisef del Carmen, transform that into a question. Transform it in una pregunta, please. Okay, not right now. I guess you have problems with the microphone. Uh, let's, see, let's see, Sara Miranda. Uh -huh. Transforme esa oración en una pregunta, please. Do I check uh, the documents? Uh, no, I check the documents. Uh -huh. Transforme la en pregunta, please. Sara Miranda. Uh -huh. Repeat, teacher, please. Yes, I check the documents. I check the documents. Uh -huh. 
do do you check the documents? Okay, do you check or do I check the documents? Yes. Do I check the documents? Excellent. Very, very good. Very good. Excellent. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes. I like it. Very, very good. So, ejemplo, Sara, para alguien más. Uh -huh. Your example, Sara. Uh, uh, so, no, teacher, uh -huh. uh, how do you say transacciones? Transfers. 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 Uh -huh. I check the transfers. I check the transfers. Okay. I check the transfers. And Luz Angelica, please. Question. Do I check the transfers? Do I check the transfers? Very good. Do I check the transfers? Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Y ya para finalizar lo último, seleccionen dos de las que yo he escrito acá. Please, two of the ones I have written here. Dos de las que yo he escrito acá y las convierten en pregunta. Pero cambien el sujeto. Pongan, does Maria, does Kevin, does. Solo las quiero con does, right? Does, does. Solo dos. Only two. Does, does. Excellent. Finish, teacher. Very good. Finish. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's see. Uh, yes, your examples, please. Reina Guadalupe, your examples. Does Victor check students' progress? Excellent. Does Victor check students' progress? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay. Carla Patricia. Does Kevin prepare the classes? Does Kevin prepare the classes? Yes, he does. Okay, does Kevin prepare? Prepare. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, yes. Very good. Uh, Luz Angelica? Mm -hmm. Does as uh, does Oscar assign homework? Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yvette, one example. Does Ricardo check student progress? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does. Uh huh. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. So I don't know if you have more questions about this. Um, participants, questions about this? No sé si tienen más dudas con respecto a esto de do and does. Do you have more questions? Mm -hmm. No? Everything clear? Everything clear. Excellent. How do you feel this topic? ¿Cómo sintieron este tema? Easy, difficult, so-so. Yes. 
Sí. Ay, Luz, está tomando café, ¿verdad? No, té. No, té. Ah, qué envidia. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Almost, almost. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, yes, very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes. Ay, todavía me muestra la taza. <ríe> ya casi, Kevin, ya casi. <ríe> ok, yeah. So, very good. Actually, the topic is really, really easy, right? I recommend you to practice on the homework, right? Eh, quiero darles como una pequeña sugerencia. Varios me han escrito ahora y qué bueno, esta semana he visto más interacción con las tareas y espero que así vayamos, ¿verdad? Que ya tengan sus tareas completadas, como debe ser su tarea. Y abajo del video va la pregunta diaria. Recuérdense que automáticamente todos estos recordings van a esa plataforma, van a esa plataforma y van en orden. No hay donde perderse. Ustedes pueden visualizar eso cuantas veces quieran, ponerse al día, revisar un punto, tal vez que ya no se acuerden. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Primero, responder la pregunta diaria que yo les coloco ahí, que es una pregunta, un ejercicio, algo pequeño, ¿verdad? Que ustedes van a ir. Y yo reviso eso. Si se fijan, ahí yo les pongo mis comentarios, correcciones y todo eso. Eh, no olviden utilizar siempre la letra capital y el punto final cuando escriban sus oraciones o el signo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Y ven que la plataforma a veces les pide que eso, bueno, lo toma muy en cuenta. Entonces... It's not the exception for you. No es la excepción para ustedes, ¿verdad? Que ustedes tengan que uh, visualizar eso y completar. Ok, participants. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Yes. Very, yes, teacher. Very good. Eh, me falta la sesión personalizada de un par de minutos. En esta ocasión le toca a usted, Ibe Ramírez. Ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Entonces ahí vamos. Y los demás... Thank you very much. Los demás ya. Al fin, solo hacer su tarea, su pregunta y a descansar, ¿verdad? A descansar en esta noche. So, primero Dios, nos vemos mañana. Take good care. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. See you. See you. See you. See you. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Um, Ibeth. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Ibeth, uh, lista? Ready, ready? Yes, lista, yes. lista, see? Sí? Excellent. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Muy bien. So, no sé si hay algún tema en particular que se quiera revisar, que tenga dudas. Sí. Which one? Es, le voy a hablar en español porque yes, no puedo. No problem, no, no problem, ningún problema. Todo bien. Ok. Tenía una pregunta porque eh, estaba fijándome que... Cuando yo estudié, había yeah. unas palabras que estaban en, por ejemplo, cuando vimos el, ¿cómo se llama esto? El uso de la S, de la, del apóstrofe. Yes, ajá. Uh Vaya, -huh. ahí donde dice, cuando va un nombre personal, por ejemplo, María. Usted le puso S con apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. esa parte yes. no la entendí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y el, esa creo que fue mi, Esa era la pregunta que tenía porque en realidad no, no la entendí porque se escribe ahora así. Exactly. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, otra que quería saber también ahora que preguntó lo que realizamos en los trabajos. Eh, yo realizo inventarios cíclicos, pero okay. yo, ajá, entonces, no, cíclics, no sé si se escribe cíclico. Ajá, ok. Eh, inventario, no, inventario es. It's an inventory, an inventory, ajá, yes. Inventario, cíclicos. Mm -hmm. eh, es... Me lo envíenmelo en el chat, ¿cómo es que se dice la palabra? Para buscarla. Uh -huh. Ahí la escribe en el chat. Bien, veamos el primer punto, ¿verdad? 
lo de este okay. símbolo, ¿verdad? Este símbolo, yes. ¿puede ver mi pantalla? Can you see my screen? ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Este símbolo es apostrophe, ese es el nombre, right? Así le llamamos a este símbolo, apostrophe. Okay. Uh -huh. Ese es el name. Aquí se lo voy a circular, apostrophe, right? Very good. Entonces, en este ejemplo, utilizamos María's uh -huh. friend, por ejemplo, o María's house, la casa de María. Entonces, esto, María's house, it's like more natural, es como una manera más natural, ¿verdad? En vez de decir the house of María, la casa de María, para no decirlo así, para no decir a quién le pertenece, es mucho más natural si usted lo dice así, María's house. Entonces, esta combinación de este apostrophe and this is, this combination, Ibeth, makes it more natural. Lo hace sonar más natural, más inglés. Entonces, por eso que usamos el apostrophe después del nombre de la persona, antes del objeto, para delimitar, para describir, para especificar que esa persona es la poseedora o el poseedor de uh, ese objeto. Okay. María's house. The house of María. Este de abajo es correcto, pero no es muy común. Una vez más le indico, es más fácil. It's better, right? Se escucha más natural si usted utiliza este que está acá. María's house. Right? Oh. Maria's house. Y este que está acá, no mucho. Right? Lo Not que es cierto es que como que está pasado de moda. Exactly. <laughs> correct. Uh -huh. Correct, correct, correct. Exactly. <laughs> Exactamente, así es. Maria's house, the house of Maria. Puedo decir también Yves, Yves, Yves card, right? El auto o el carro de Ibel. Ajá. Yes. Kevin's computer. La computadora de Kevin. Right? Kevin's laptop. Por ejemplo. Okay. Ajá. Thanks. No sé si ahora está más claro esto de las apostrofes. Bastante, bastante. Ok. Very good. Very good. Y qué bueno que socialicemos estas dudas. It's really good. Es muy bueno que no conserve esas dudas. Así las aclaramos en el momento oportuno. So, very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Maria's house, right? The okay. house of Maria. Very good. Uh, we also have, like, for example, uh, Kevin's uh, Kevin's children, los hijos de Kevin, también pueden ser personas, right? Yvette's children, los hijos de Yvette, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ahí va esto de apostrofe y aquí va la post, okay. no lo olvidamos. Siempre lo conservamos acá y la S, right? Yes. Okay. Regáleme un ejemplo ahorita, please. Y ve. Quiero Voy a escribir. Type. Mm -hmm. Revíselo, escríbalo, luego me, me indica. Um... Se hace tan difícil encontrar una palabra cuando uno quiere escribir. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Happens. <laughs> Todo happens. se le olvida uno. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Happens. Cierto. Pasa. Normal. Eso es de lo más normal. A mí me ha pasado también. ¿Se ha fijado ese struggle? Que yo tengo. <laughs> bueno, no es que yo, no lo tengo muy seguido ahora, pero tratando de dar ejemplos cuando les doy ejemplos, right? I sometimes feel like I saturate. A veces siento que lo saturo con muchos ejemplos. So, yeah. Yo por eso repito lo mismo porque no me acuerdo. Ajá, las me too, me too. De hecho, yo hacía lo mismo, y ve, lo mismito que usted hace, lo mismo hago yo. Y, pero ayuda porque a mí me ayudó. That helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, bueno. very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, um, your example. José 
Pero, ¿y la S cómo se pronuncia? José. José. José on the cell phone. Excellent. Ajá, muy bien. Good. Ajá. Sí. José cell phone. José. Carlos computer. Ajá. No estamos diciendo que Carlos es una computadora. No, estamos diciendo que esa computadora le pertenece. It's the possession of Carlos. Ajá. Ajá. Yes, like that. Very good, very good. Su otra duda era, me dijo, en su job. Ajá. En el trabajo. Yo realizo inventarios cíclicos. Cíclico. Ah, cíclicos, le llamamos, que lo hacemos por periodos, el inventario. Ajá. Inventarios. ¿De cada cuánto es ese periodo? Eh, los hacemos trimestrales. Ah. Ajá. Entonces yo en mi ejemplo, no, no me acordé de la palabra realizar en inglés. Entonces puse inventaris cíclicos. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Yeah, but we can have it like... Mm, eh, like this, for example. Um, I elaborate, right? Well. Quarterly, 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 se pronuncia. I elaborate quarterly inventories. Elaboro inventarios trimestrales. Okay. O lo que se decía cíclicos, right? Ajá, okay. uh -huh. I elaborate quarterly inventories. Quarterly, quarterly, quarterly okay. inventories. Ajá. Uh -huh. Quarterly. Quarterly. Inventories, ajá. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, yes. Excellent. ¿Alguna otra duda, Iber? Yo creo que me perdí la clase de ahora. No, but you can check it. Sé que es por los problemas de conectividad, ¿verdad? La lluvia creo que nos afectó. Hasta cierto punto, right? Mucho. Ajá. The rain. Pero usted está haciendo las tareas de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes, right? Yes. Ah, ¿Ya se fijó que ahí aparecen los videos también? Yes. Ajá, ahí va. Sí. Ahí los puede verificar también. Para yes. constatar más. Igual, cualquier duda usted me puede escribir, ¿ok? A veces le voy a contestar un poquitito tarde por cuestiones, ¿verdad? De, de working, de trabajo. So, pero, pero yo de que les contesto, les contesto. Bueno, se han fijado, ¿verdad? Que ahí les estoy compartiendo material. Sí, yo esta presentación, sí, el gracias. material, se lo voy a compartir en la carpeta que habilité para ustedes, ¿ok? Ajá, en el file. Yes. So, okay. uh -huh. ahí va a estar. Ok, teacher. Thank you, Ivette. Have a good Thank night. You. Pase buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana. Thank Dios mediante. So, bye bye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>